cool. I love it. This is, <laughs> I was just saying to Claire that this is what you call um, reality TV. <laughs> I challenge you. It is, isn't it? <laughs> the, the thing is, I'm the right way up and you're upside down on my phone. And it's really weird because, like, when we started, the phone went, I just went, Whoa. are you and serious? You are, I'm upside down. <laughs> I'm, waiting, I'm waiting for you to sort of drop. <laughs> oh, <Hang> my. <laughs> All right. So do you need to drop out and come oh, back in? Do you want me to drop out, yeah, and come back in and just see? Oh, hang on. Or Let me you... push this. What happens if I push the reverse button? Will that just show you my my really cool studio? I really, <laughs> I really want to see is probably the rest of your house if it's anything like that. <laughs> I really want to. Hang see. on, I'll push. I'll push it and see what happens. Now Susan's what loving happens? it, saying, "Hey, all oh, now that's a creative look." <laughs> no, uh, I don't know. I'm going to drop out. Yeah, and we'll I'll drop out this way. There is actually. And I'm going to play Linda for a while, and Claire. Thanks, can Adair. You, can you tell? Can you share with me what, what Jade X are? Because I have like the Jade in practice. Not, because I have no idea. I've never heard of it. So the it's it's an ancient Chinese practice, and the like the oldest record we have is about hundred hundred years BC. Yeah. So it's a, an ancient Chinese practice that's been around for a very, very, very long time. Um, and there's a teacher called um, Mantak Chia who brought Jade Egg to the West. Yeah. So it's in, in more recently, it's had a bit of a revival. So more and more people are kind of starting to hear about it. But it comes from the Taoist tradition, um, which I guess is like the Chinese version of. Tantra. So what, what what sort of tradition was it? It was the, so it's from the Taoist tradition, and it's not a lot is known, but it's speculated that the um, like the women of the royal palaces in ancient China used to use the jade used to use the jade egg practice to promote their own health and vitality, and also mm. their sexual prowess. Um, well, so you got the, my attention. Let's yeah, <laughs> let's it's have amazing. A We've got a Susan saying hi. Hi, um, Susan. Uh, so, and Paula's saying she has a jade egg, but she's not confident, so she doesn't use it. This is, uh, ah, there we go, Taoist, ah, duh. Like, seriously, I'm such a noob with this stuff. I love I love hooking into Linda's uh, lounge chats because I learn so much, and I never thought that I'd be here like, this is so cool. I'm not hijacking your show, but that's okay. Susan's saying she has one and she loves it. So I'm really, so it was, is this what you call Taoist? Yeah, so it's tea, but it's Taoist. Taoist. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I've got one here too, just for people that, so this is um, like pretty much it's like an egg. It's a jade egg. You can see yeah, it's yeah. got a little hole. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a little hole jeweled through yes. the top. Yeah. Um, so they come in three. A lot of the time, that you can get them in three different sizes. This is the middle size, uh -huh. and this is the one that I would suggest for most people that were starting out in the practice. There is a smaller one, but unless you've been doing it for a long time, then the little one just falls out. Let's be honest. You know, we don't <laughs> we don't have most of us need about this size, and they come drilled or undrilled, but um, the drilled ones are better. So for people that are a little bit scared to try it and you know if you haven't heard of it before someone's saying oh yeah go and place this piece of crystal in your vagina I can understand that that might be a bit like what you want me to put what where yeah um, yeah yeah so the ones with the holes are really good because you can use it like the holes designed so you thread it yeah so a piece of um unwaxed dental floss or a piece of silk or something and that way when you're using it if you want to get it out, all you got to do is give the string a little tug and it comes out. Because yep. I've heard that a lot of people, I've never got one stuck, but sometimes people can get them stuck and just having that string. Yeah, I think it's probably it's a, a bit more peace of mind, peace of mind. 
Yeah. Well, actually, it's it's like, you know, sort of all through our youth, we use tampons, so why not use, you know, um, that? So Something just, that's really beneficial, yeah. So, and Linda's saying it's not letting her connect via phone or laptop. So <laughs> we, we're just going to run with it, Linda. I've hijacked just, your show. Totally it's, hijacked. It, it's mine, all oh, mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm... Hey, I know she's. I can see she's in the lobby, but she's actually not coming up. Um, as so we'll keep talking. I want ah, she's in the lobby. She's here. Aha! And she's the right way up. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Ah. Hi. Right. So hey, Claire. So, Hello. Linda, that's okay. I'm just, I'm going to bow out, but we actually, we got to, I'll let Claire tell you where you're up to anyway, but thank you because I, <laughs> I have some questions that I want to ask and uh, I'll, I'll do that from, from the other side of the audience. So you girls, take it away. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, Adair. Thank you so much. Um, so, hello, beautiful. <laughs> hello. Uh, we got there in the end. We did. So Ed, we were just talking um, briefly about like the Taoist tradition and where the jade egg comes from, um, mm -hmm. and that's that's kind of as far as we got. Okay, cool. So I was trying to um, you know fill space before and just giving a little bit of what my understanding of jade egg practice was and the fact that you know it really is a focus on women's sexuality, um, sexual health that get it reconnecting with that centre of feminine power and energy and so on and so forth. So yes. do you want to expand on some so, of that? So um, the, a lot, and I'm talking broad terms here, but I think the majority of women in this day and age have a certain level of disconnect with their sexual self and um, a lot of disconnect with their sexual energy, with their, just with their like vagina and reproductive organs in in mm -hmm. general. And the jade egg works on it's a whole body practice. So it works on the physical body, it works on the psycho-emotional body, it works on the spiritual body to reconnect us to our to ourselves, really, to that that core of who we are, which as women especially comes from our sexual energy, our creativity, our vitality all of that comes from the connection mm. we have and the the comfort we have in our sexual selves so yeah. um from that emotional and and spiritual perspective the jade egg works really well to to support women to really love their bodies to um create more bliss joy happiness to to deal with any sexual trauma and reconnect to um, or, or work through any numbness in the body. Mm. Um, mm. On a more physical level, it helps to increase sensitivity and sensation in the vagina. It helps to have better orgasms. It helps. And who to, doesn't want that, um, right? <laughs> I know. Hello. Um, yeah. The, the sensitivity and the control of like the pelvic floor, pelvic muscles. So, um, from a physical perspective, if you're looking at prolapse or incontinence or even things like vulvodynia and dryness, when you use mm. the jade egg, that practice um, can. Like I know women that have, have healed those physical um, things from using the jade egg. Okay, if you yeah. jump online and do, you know, start researching the jade egg, um, because it's had such an explosion of interest in the modern time, you're going to come against, come up against that lots of controversy around mm. whether you should or shouldn't use it and the benefits or the, um, what's the opposite of a benefit, the negatives to, the, <laughs> Neg to yeah. using the jade egg. So um, there's a lot yeah. of hype and at present there is no scientific evidence that I know of that supports either for or against um, claims that people make of the practice like yeah. anything it's not like it sounds amazing it's not a miracle cure um yeah but you know like like meditation once people said oh you know there's no benefits to that and now science is proving the amazing benefits that meditation has and 
jade egg is growing the same way you know it's it's an ancient practice it's been used in china and through the Taoist tradition for a really long time and it's just a matter of time until science kind of catches up catches up with it yep exactly and i think you know well that holds true across um, many of the um, traditional wisdoms that we tap into. So a lot of the complementary therapies, you know, that are based in traditional wisdom come up against that um, hard edge of scepticism. And, you know, if it's not proven scientifically, then it doesn't work. So, um, yeah. yeah, there's a lot to be said for some of the changes that happen are at such a subtle level that science hasn't quite developed the methods to measure how that happens yes so yeah, i think you know it's about the physical yeah it's about go in with a balance feel yeah now i've just had a message from adair so i'm just going to multitask and completely ignore you for a minute <laughs> so if you wanted to maybe expand a bit more on um say are there any contraindications coming yeah. out so, of childbirth pregnancy those sort of things there um there are a couple of um, contraindications. One is when you're having a period, don't use the egg. So you can do the practice, like the the like that the physical practice, but just don't insert the egg. That's a time mm-hmm. when your body is trying to release. So you don't want to be putting things in your vagina when your vagina is trying to expel um, pregnancy. Mm. So again, if you jump on the internet, there will be some shade egg teachers and and some um, information they're saying yeah it's great to use for pregnancy but my teacher in my lineage says you know why like there's so much going on so much changes happening at that time why mess with that leave it Mm. alone so it's kind of like users like use at your own discretion um but i'd advise against using it during pregnancy yeah and you know when you think about what what your body's physically doing during pregnancy it's almost like well you know, it, it has created a special seal to enclose the baby. So why would you want to do anything that might actually disrupt that? Not saying that Jadeg would, but No, and, and yeah. again there's been no like some people do use it during pregnancy and there are teachers that advise it's a great way, like you should use it during pregnancy because you can really work with all the pelvic muscles, etc. Um so there has been no documented negative effects from using it during that time but why risk it you know um and then the only other thing that is really important is that you're using good quality 100 percent neophyte jade or obsidian yep um since okay. the hype around or like yoni eggs so yeah uh, that was actually egg. going to be one of my my questions to you and um, I've got Adair jumping back on because people are asking questions, but I can't see, I can't see the comments anywhere, so I can't answer people's <laughs> questions. So <laughs> the beautiful Adair. Thank you, girls. Thank it, you so much for your patience. Back. This is we've got, um, we've got. Oh no, we talked about the prolapse. Susan was saying, is it safe to use during prolapses, and if they can be reversed? So that was something that. Um, Susan has asked, can prolapses be reversed? I know you said it's it's safe and it's good for them. Um, so from a scientific on. perspective, um, like if, if you want like pure science, there's no evidence to say that it can. But mm-hmm. I do know women and my teacher knows a lot of women that have healed prolapse through the use of the jade egg. Um, mm-hmm. It's really good for um, working with like atrophy of the vagina muscles. So by using the jade egg, you start to strengthen all the muscles in that pelvic, so, you know, the pelvic belt and all of the smaller muscles. And by mm-hmm. using the jade egg to work those muscles, you're strengthening that area, which can assist with prolapse. Okay, cool. Um, let's see what else did we have here. Um, oh, Joanne's saying she's never heard of it, but she's, uh, she's saying, oh, she gets it now uh, like duo eggs. I've never heard of duo eggs. And are they the, the balls? I'm not sure. Is that the two balls? I don't know what duo. I, duo. I don't the, know. The, the ones like that there's are... the two balls. <sighs> so there's some, yeah, I don't know if they're um, pelvic, like pelvic floor balls. Um, so I guess it like in, in one way it's similar, but in another way it's 
Like it's much more than just a physical practice. It's a really holistic, spiritual practice. So there's, there's other stuff that sort of goes with it. Sorry, Linda. 100%. Um, and, <laughs> no, no, uh, that's okay. I'm just thinking I've got someone honking and yelling at my front gate. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to go out and see what that's about. And Adair, you're a lifesaver. I'm sorry, Claire, just hang on a moment. You go, I'll drop you out. And there we go. So Susan's wondering, is, it, is Obstadan not too strong to use internally for this practice? Obsidian in terms of the um, yeah. the oh qualities of the crystal. I'm really my ignorance, aren't I? <laughs> Go on. So sorry, you say you you um the reason that you'd only use jade and obsidian is because of the structure of the the crystal. They're very dense. They're not porous. Um, they're very strong. They're made under really high temperatures, so they're not going to crack. They're not going to break, and because they are not porous, and they like the structure of the crystal doesn't have any like it's solid, it doesn't have any um, fissures or anything. No bacteria can get in. Um, it's much more hygienic, and it's much safer. Like if you if you use a, a um, rose quartz crystal, uh, rose quartz rose quartz egg, for instance, they are like the crystalline structure is porous, and they're not. A strong crystal and I've heard stories of people not having them shatter while the egg is in their vagina but having done a practice taking the egg out and then the egg has shattered um, oh. if you drop these like they're not going to break or chip and you don't want to be putting anything in your vagina that may break or chip or that isn't hygienic yeah Absolutely, I get that. So Jayan is saying, yes, the balls, she was talking about the dry eye balls, yes, we're inside your vagina. Um, and Susan's saying it's not the same as duo eggs. Um, all right, so now Susan's asking, what are the energies of crystal being the strength of, how did you pronounce that, Obs obsidian? Obsidian. 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 Obsidian's qualities. I see Linda's back. I'm going to pop it back into the broadcast. So Susan's saying, what are their energies? Oh, so not too strong. So obsidian and uh, the jade. So she was talking about the, the energy of the actual crystal, not so much okay. as, yeah. So I'm going to put Linda back. I can still hear you from down when I'm out. And, um, okay. oh, it wasn't Tina, it was Vesna. The only saying, are these what Tina was talking about at her event? I think it was Vesna. But anyway, I'm just going to drop out and you can talk about the energy of it because that's another question that I have while I've got your attention. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, is, the, um, is the actual spiritual practices that go with it and also how often or how, how what's the wearing cycle? Like you said, not during pregnancy, not during uh menstruation but um what's the wearing size so this what's the okay quick, there's so a few um <laughs> the the jade um the healing properties of the jade are really i guess good for this practice um they help draw impurities from the vagina tissues it's a very um detoxifying and cleansing crystal um, and this, like, if, if you go back to the Taoist tradition and the way the jade egg was used in the Taoist tradition in ancient China, they only used jade, which is why it's a, a jade egg practice. Um, I've never used an obsidian egg. I know that they have really strong, um, like the crystal has really strong um, properties. I like the jade egg. And I, so the reason I say obsidian is because from an actual physical crystal <clears throat> structure, that's the only other one that you would want to use. Yeah, um, it's my understanding that like, would... the jade itself is very harmonising, very balancing. Um, it's quite a gentle energy. The obsidian itself is a very strongly grounding crystal. Yeah. 
So you, you'd actually want to be very careful, particularly if I would imagine that if you're a woman who suffers from heavy periods, for instance, even though you don't use this during your menstrual cycle, using that strong downward drawing energy could actually be, I don't know, detrimental, I guess, or, you know, just an added yeah. added trigger to, to heavy flow. Yeah. But yeah. So I only use the jade and I would only, like, my suggestion would be to use jade. This this is what the tradition is is based off. And if you start, mm. um, you can get you can get yoni eggs in a whole variety of different crystal, a whole variety of different crystals. From a physical perspective, jade egg and obsidian are the only ones that the crystalline structure is um, strong enough and dense enough to use internally in terms of the crystalline properties, I would just suggest the jade. And, you know, that's what they've yeah, been using absolutely. for thousands and thousands of years. So why would you use anything else? Um, and then to answer Adele's questions, the most of the practice that you do with the jade egg, you can do in less than an hour. Um, a lot of them are 15, 20 minutes. Um, you can wear the egg for longer um i teach yoga i don't know if my yoga students would want to know that or not but i teach yoga with the jade egg <laughs> in sometimes um and sometimes i'll finish doing a practice and my body won't feel like it's ready to release the egg so i might walk around wearing the egg for a couple of hours um okay don't wear it so it's nice. ba- so if you ha- if you are working with the egg and choose to wear it that's more based on what your body's response to the practice is as opposed to an intellectual decision of, oh, I'm just going to wear my egg today. Is that, if you, that so how I mean, that it's, works? It's, it's kind of both. Like, Is it? Okay. You know, if, if, I'm, if I'm having a really lazy day and I want to um, do a jade egg practice but I really can't be bothered to bring the energy and the tension into lying down and doing the practice, then there are times that, I'll just do a lazy practice and I'll get my body aroused enough to accept the egg and then I'll just wear it for a few hours just because I, okay. so it's, it can be intellectual. It can be from your body. Um, really important. I know we're jumping around a little bit here, but sexual, like your sexual sovereignty is really important. And as women, I think so many times we allow ourselves to be penetrated before we're ready or before our, vagina is ready to open and accept something um and so with the jade egg it's really important that instead of just shoving it in your vagina you take the time to ask that question of your vagina of yourself are you ready to accept the egg do you want the jade egg and wait for an answer before you insert it and then when you're inserting the egg like take your time it's not a matter of just yeah shoving it up there like you you know it's it's a very it's a um, it's a ritual, and your relationship with your body will deepen and grow if you start honouring your needs. So if it's a yes, yeah. go for it. If it's a no, then you can put the egg aside and still do the practice, but without actually having the egg inside. And if it's a maybe, then ask yourself, okay, what do you need for this to be either a yes or a no, and and yeah. wait for an answer. Um, don't wear it while you're sleeping definitely don't wear it while you're having sex it's a hard object you don't really want that in there when something else is moving around Um, no absolutely and so I've got a question here oh this might answer the question for more than oh six six hours Um, I wouldn't like don't just put it in and leave it all day, especially if you don't have a, a solid practice. Um, if you're not comfortable, then do your 20-minute practice, take it out. Um, but mm. definitely don't leave it in for, you know, like it's like a tampon. You wouldn't leave a tampon in for eight hours. So, yeah, same, same. Yeah, okay. All right, so that pretty much answers um, Susan's question, which was so you, you can just start wearing it at night. Um, why do you not wear it while sleeping? And I guess it's that, that duration of time. It's also that, so 
when you're sleeping, all like all the muscles in your body relax and you want yep. them to all relax. And when you have a jade egg, it'll probably like, I've never slept with it overnight, but I would assume that more than likely it would get expelled anyway because your muscles are all relaxed and they don't want to be working to hold the jade egg inside your body. And you want to give all of those muscles the opportunity to just completely let go. Yeah. Okay. Well, that certainly makes sense to me. And I guess, you know, sleep is the time that the body's doing its restorative stuff too. So you don't really want to interfere with that rhythm too much as well. So, um, um, and then just one. Uh, yeah, sorry, we, we do need to wrap sorry. up because our host needs her program for her own show. So, yes, your your last um, comment. Just lastly, just from a hygiene perspective, when you get an egg, if you haven't got one already, first time, make sure you boil it for minimum 10 minutes before you use it. Jade egg is fine if the water can boil at 100 degrees or, or over. If you get a jade egg and they advise you not to do that, then chances are it's not 100% jade. So if it cracks when it's boiling, then it's not 100% jade and you don't want to use it anyway. So make sure that you boil it and then wash it under warm water. You can use warm soapy water, like pH neutral soapy water after use. And then same thing before you use it, put some, like just tip some boiling water over it or chuck it in a cup with some boiling water. Um, Or you can use iodine if you feel more comfortable Fantastic. All right, so um, Claire. If anyone has any questions, yes. Yeah, yeah, I was just going to ask you, you know, any if people are interested in taking up jade egg practice, do they connect with you online or, you know, where can they purchase a jade egg? Where would you recommend they look for information and for instruction on developing their own jade egg practice? So they're more than welcome to contact me. Um, once the yoga studio opens, I'll be running more intro to jade egg practices i do one-on-one jade egg workshops or um practices if they have any questions i'm happy for people to email me and i'll get back to them in darwin i have a bunch of eggs if anybody wants them otherwise this company um polar jade is Mm -hmm. where i would recommend getting the eggs from this is where i source my eggs from it's a canadian company they're 100 percent jade eggs they're about 65 us dollars plus postage so i think they end up being I don't know, maybe a hundred bucks, um, but yeah, you're putting it in your vagina, so you want that really good quality. Um, yeah, and then Absolutely. Layla Martin, who's my teacher, does an online. I think it's a seven week online jade egg course. Um, yeah, and if you do that course, you'll get a jade egg from Polar Jade. Um, that's okay. a seven week online course, which is a brilliant course as well. Um, and if anyone, yeah, like has any questions or wants the links to anything, then I'm happy for them to sure. send me an email or jump onto my website, social media, all of that. Fantastic. All right, so I will definitely um, come back in after the broadcast and I'll put some information up for people so they can connect with you and have all your links available there. If you do have questions that you haven't had the opportunity to ask now, put them in the comments below. Both Claire and myself will come back through. Claire will be the one with the... um, you know the very experienced information and I'll just make sure that we haven't missed anybody's questions Um, and I'm wrapping this up in a hurry because our beautiful host Adair actually needs her program to run her own broadcast so big shout out to Adair Palmer from Social Media for Small Business thank you so much for being present in the lounge room with me today and helping Claire and I to connect to talk about Jade Egg. Claire, thank you so much for your time today thank and you. for your patience and flexibility getting online with us. Oh, my goodness. Thanks, Facebook Lena. and I, we need some time. That's my pleasure, Claire. <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you, everybody who connected in today. It was wonderful to see all those questions. We'll connect again next week. I'll see, see you later. then.